everyone. Welcome back. Storm here. Jessica here. We are watching more X-Men 97 today, episode 7. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> so last episode, Storm got her powers back, right? She did. Yes. So that was I'm amazing. I am very excited about that. Xavier's going back to Earth because he had a really bad vision. I feel like I was ready to come back to it like right after it happened because I wanted to know what happened. And now that I've had time between, I'm like... Oh, now I'm afraid. <laughs> it's real again. It's real. It's gonna be. It's gonna be scary. All these people are gonna be so sad. Yeah, and I want to thank our fans too because we've gotten so much good feedback watching this show together, and our community is fantastic. And a lot of you have just wonderful things to say about this show and our reactions. And a lot of people cried when Gambit died. A lot of people did. And a lot of us are adults watching this show and they're making Myself jokes in the comments saying like, how dare you cry at this age? And it's like, but I did too. That's what I said to myself, you know? So we're all in it together. It was very terrible. It was awful. I mean, it was good. It was well done. It was, it was so well done. Episode. It was so painful. <laughs> yeah. And there was a lot of deaths, but Gambit oh, was like the huge character that we all love. And it was just mm -hmm. traumatic. So on that note, are you ready, Jessica, to get into this episode? Let's do it. Do love birds still ain't talking? He's grieving his son. Oh, yeah. Because that whole thing, too. <laughs> mm -hmm. Do you love her? In the grand She's scheme of things. Sinister. I see Nimrod. I saw. Oh, that was like a was like an alternate future. Uh, Storm and Wolverine. Oh, it's so not good. Oh. Bright eyes. <laughs> that sucks. I'm sorry, Jessica. Oh, and Kurt's doing the ceremony. That's so crazy. Mind you that life, like the cards, is wild. Yet he moves through his life as a force. Those might be members of the Thieves Guild, which Remy was a part of. Those other guys, you know. His kinetic gifts. Gambit had endless faith in potential. Yet he seemed so blind to his. Haunted by the life of bio crime into which he was born. Sinner beyond saving. Hmm. Such was the cards he'd say. Hmm. I think the blonde woman is Belladonna, his uh, fiance, ex fiance. Oh, really? How could Remy so yeah, they were like, she was from the Assassin's Guild, he's sins, from the Thieves Guild, and they were like uh, arranged to marry. Really? Oh, I, I crying. think Every they might have been into each other, too. Yeah. I know where's her. He saved I mean, all of us. I get he it. Her. That's rough. He loved her. <laughs> she watched him die. I mean, that's. Oh God. Someone with her power, just like, yeah. So where's she going? Uh oh. She's just gonna attack. She's gonna him. get some revenge. Yeah. Wow. Whoa. Whoa, what's going on? What's going on, man? <laughs> Oof. Crap. Oof. <laughs> oh shite. <laughs> what do we do, sir? Oh no, it's General Ross! Need I remind you that we're speaking oh, of MCU tie in. Yeah! I know it seems strange, but after losing Storm, the thought of having something of a sister was comforting. None of that matters right now. So they haven't seen right Storm now yet. We have to be strong no. for the team. 
But she was literally Perfect. just yelling at him Still the other episode for, oh, for kissing her. So. Yep. It's what the professor would do. Then let's go remind the world that times like these are when dreaming matters most. Ugh. Yeah, the blob's there. Yeah, the head survived. <laughs> Always find people who are helping. The ever affable Mr. Rogers. Teams have a risk of the Citadel. Too unstable. Quoting Mr. Rogers is a good one. Yeah. The rest of you go show humanity that the X-Men are here to stay. Stellar work, Amelia. Hmm. Triage dies down when the dead stay dead. When we first set up and the injured started flooding in. Bad things happen. Everyone wants to be a survivor, but when you actually see one fresh off the belt... A survivor is the last thing I'd want to be. Walk with me. Would you like that? Oh, Please. No. Ooh. I love how she did that. She just like, go away, cameraman. <gasps> oh, yeah! We're getting Steve Rogers! Oh, no, they're going to oh, fight! Crap. Captain America! Please. Yeah! Henry Gonna tease Please. with Ross and then. Oh my god! Genosha wasn't just a mutant tragedy. It shames us all. So do something about it. Across the country dishonors those who were lost. Skip the hogwash and tell me what America's top cop is doing all the way out here. <laughs> like you, I'm hoping to use Gyrick to get our hands on Oliver Trask. He built the sentence. Natural first suspect for that master mold to Genosha. No, oh, yeah, she's still carrying the shield. I the know. Way. You could borrow it for <laughs> now, I guess. Give it back to him. <laughs> this uniform shows up in Mexico bashing heads in with you. It sends a message. Damn right that you stand with mutants. Unless you don't now. <laughs> <laughs> now. My hands are tied. Well, I mean, I get it, but also. Oh, I'm gonna keep it for a while. <gasps> Hey, that wasn't very nice. He's like, oh, I mean, I, I, everyone's motivations here feel very real. And they do. Aww. But we don't know if they're gone though. They didn't actually find the bodies, right? I don't know. Callisto, they showed on the roof. They did. They did. Yeah. You're right. You're right. Leech, though, is with Magneto, and I think they're alive. We. That's my current theory. Yes. She did, but this is a rough situation. I mean, it it's going to be very yeah, easy yeah. for every mutant to feel like you're either with them or against them. This ain't no jail. This is a damn resort. As you might know. What's OZT anyway? Well, let's just say you freaks aren't the only ones the glowing glasses. In high places. The anime. Mm hmm. Gross. Not against this. Yeah. Not against him. Honey, this ain't that sort of pro. <laughs> Yikes. She's yeah, going right for it. That's cool because you haven't really seen it. Yeah. But she's not holding back. <gasps> Whoa. Oh, wow. Yep. With the crisp yeah. with the diamond skin. I knew it. <laughs> you were right. You were right. Extraordinary. Diamond transmutation has never been one of Emma's abilities. Perhaps a dormant mutation triggered by duress. <coughs> I've always done well. <coughs> Under pressure. <laughs> <laughs> Under pressure. <laughs> Big diamonds. Get it? Aww. Oh, how complicated. 
I know. Happy you found someone. Sad it's not the person you're looking for. Immediately. Mm -hmm. It's Trask. I didn't know what he was using my DNA for. We go in, charm with small talk, and. Why? I'm a mutant. <laughs> Where that? Finds for me. <laughs> Have you tried not being a mutant? Mm hmm. Aww. Oh, he was all ham. It's in his head. Oh, good. I mean, it's not always in their heads, but I'm glad it was not his head. They call me Jubilee, ma'am. Thank you for helping my son. Oh, how nice. I was afraid he'd be facing this all alone. Mm -hmm. Now the trick will be making sure we keep this all private. Wait, what? And oh, there it is. What do you mean, keep it private? Honey, shareholders are rattled by anything mutant-related. Oh, shareholders, jeez. awfulness in Janosha. They can't know we have a mutant in the family. So, we'll have to discuss some new rules concerning your associations. Oh boy. And how to be more... discreet. No. Spritzers? Spritzers. <laughs> <laughs> so casual. This is your son, not your okay. corporation. Indeed. It is I, sister. How do you feel now? <laughs> well, bit of a headache, but... Oh, I'll live. Or pulled the short straw in the adopted sister department. <laughs> oh. Got the gal who goes bonkers over losing a boy. <laughs> over losing two. Oh, thanks. Oof. And her confusion is only natural. But she did not cause Gambit or Magneto to be killed. She helped them live. Oh, I'm so happy he's with her. Oh, we're all here for you. Their stance. Oh. oh, crap. Who is this? I don't know. My surprise. <laughs> Interesting. For a moment, I was like, "Is that Magneto with like his head shaved?" Uber secret break room behind a busted vending machine. Mm. A game, bad guy. A game. <laughs> <laughs> He's drinking it. <laughs> now I am become dead. Poor man's Oppenheimer. Yeah, dude. Save sugar. Oh. <gasps> really? And no one's gonna stop it? Really? Holy shit. No one's gonna stop it. No one... Not that they could. Wow. Holy crap. Do this again. We're gonna keep going through. Holy it. crap! Holy god! What? Oh shit! What? Oh ew! What the oh. hell? Ew! Oh no! I vaguely remember a storyline where humans got turned into sentinels. It's been a while though. Oh, this is bad. Jeez. 
Dang, Jean. You go. Quicksilver. Nice. Woo! Yeah! <laughs> no! Ooh! Whoa! What? Was Ooh. he- Did he just blow up? Ooh. Oh my he god! Him in space. Throw him into space! <laughs> Will that even do anything? Oh. The cable. I'm trying to think who would have. Yeah. Yeah. Don't mess with Which my dad. grenades lying around? Cable does. Electromagnetic cluster grenades are the quickest mm -hmm. way to take these suckers down. Cable? What the hell are you doing here? <sighs> See, okay, connecting. Her, but you're Let's him. Let's get the reunion, Dad. Oh. Trask got it wrong. Sinister's working for someone else, someone worse. And if you X-Men don't stop him, there won't be much of a future worth Who? Beauties have been selling the world a very big lie. Uh-oh. And so have I. Purple people eater. Ha <laughs> ha. There he is! Oh, okay, so I guessed he was alive. I didn't guess he was in a torture basement. Yeah! Like the pink it kinda looks familiar. like him a little. But like pink's using a lot of things. Oh god. Mm -hmm. I'm loving it though because it's not predictable, you know? I mean I yeah. think there's a lot of things you'll recognize no in the idea comics. What's going. That is so creepy. <laughs> what? I'm keeping an eye on the ear. Alright, so I don't know who this new bad guy is. Um I'm curious if you guys know, leave it in the comments please, but um, he kind of, I mean, the way he's drawn, he kind of looks like Magneto. I think he has a different voice, but I'm probably just, like, simplifying it thinking because he has, like, the white hair and, like, the lips and the eyes kind of remind me of him. But, like, could he be, like, some kind of, he looks younger, too. So I'm like, I don't think he's from the future. <laughs> I don't know. There's a lot of, like, possibilities right now, but. I'm, like, searching my mind right now, and I think actually, hold on. Ah! <gasps> You have that character or evidence of that character. This, this one is is an old, old comic, uh, which you can see it's falling apart uh, here. But I think this is the, the series I had where they turn them. Oh my gosh, yes, where they turn people into Sentinels. Like humans would just suddenly be like when they said Sentinel Prime activated. Mm -hmm. Like I could, I remembered that in my head, and I. Sure enough, this lady has that outfit. Oh, that's so with cool! The triangle. So now I know I have to try and read this without the whole thing falling apart <laughs> 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 to remind myself what's happening. But it looks—I guess they're—they're they're doing X Men Zero Tolerance as the the arc here. <laughs> that's pretty cool. I mean, maybe they're trying to add all different comic book stories into this, you know, yeah, just probably, to yeah. have a little something for everybody. But well, that's what they did with the old series too. They did—they adapted Days of Future Past. They adapted the Dark Phoenix Saga. Uh, I think they did the brood. Like they're, they're all comics things that happened, and mm. they just brought them into an animated thing. So it's, it's not surprising that they would, yeah, grab from other ones. You know, it's great that you know this show. Like every episode's only around a half hour long, and they cover so much. Like there's no filler so whatsoever, and it's been very 
just intense and uh, a lot of information and, and very entertaining. So um, heartbreaking. Uh, I was hoping to see the follow up after what happened um, with Gambit and everyone else that died. Mm -hmm. And, and that was really heavy. So Rogue, um, I can totally understand. I know you can too, you know, why she did what she did. And um, her, like, just being that awesome and going after, like, what, the military and... Um, yeah. And then Captain America, like, seeing <laughs> him America, in here. General Ross. Yeah, and you, you notice Ross right away. And, and I think that was so cool because now we're seeing, like, actual MCU characters involved in X-Men. And I just love that mix now because, again, X-Men is Marvel. Yeah. But we never see them Yeah, they've never been a part of the, in the cinematic universe. Yes, there's the been, cinematic universe, There's been yes. X-Men movies, but they have not been a part of the cinematic universe. Yeah. So seeing X-Men with characters from the cinematic universe on Disney means something different. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Yes. And um, I just had a thought. I was excited to see Quicksilver in this. Did his head explode in this or, or he was just neutralized because it happened so, so quick? I, I, I was I like, was he didn't just kill all the X-Men. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't think Beast and Wolverine. He, they, I mean. they used mutant neutralized for each one of them, mm -hmm. uh, and they were up afterwards. At least some of them were up afterwards. So I'm assuming neutralized doesn't mean dead. It just means not currently attacking, not fighting. Yeah, like knocked yeah. out or injured in some way where they can't fight. Um, I mean, he definitely partially exploded, but Morph is amorphous so <laughs> so it might have been just part of the effect or something of yeah like, like he his what, what did i say before transporting teleporting goo. yeah <laughs> if your body's goo i think you can get exploded just a little bit just a little yeah that's freaky <laughs> but okay I'll, I'll take that because you know i know a lot of people don't like the x-men movies i did enjoy them um certain scenes best one yeah, in the one with Quicksilver, <laughs> when they had that whole montage of him saving everyone from that big explosion at mm -hmm. the school, that scene I freaking love. And, and that's the Quicksilver I see, you know? So I just, seeing Quicksilver in this, I know he's a bit different, but I was just very excited to see him here. When Morph changes into other people, he can take their power. So that's that's pretty freaking awesome that he can, he can do that. Yeah, I did double check this when we first started watching, because I couldn't, like, I was like, why is he turning into like special certain people? Um, and she, if if it's a physical power, he can kind of mimic it. So like hmm. Quicksilver's physical power is speed, but I don't think he could shoot uh, Cyclops's force beams. Out that of was eyes. what I was thinking. Okay, because I was thing. like, if he can, then he's like invincible, he could do anything. Because then he could be Storm. He yeah, be like I don't think he can control the weather. I don't think he can energize objects like Gambit did if he turned into Gambit. But he could get strong or tough or fast or things like that if the person mm -hmm. that he's turning into has that. Or maybe Wolverine with the healing powers, but he's not with um, possibly his claws yeah. Or anything. I I think they're kind of loosey goosey with it, mm -hmm. <laughs> which is okay. Sometimes it's yeah. better not to explain too much and to just you know let it be more. what it needs to be in the moment for the story. But yeah, this was a very dark episode. I mean. Uh, two episodes ago oh, it was too, happened? but holy crap, Ro going dark like that. And, you know, I get her being that pissed off and, and killing that guy. You know, he, it started with him and, and I get it. But wow, for her to actually do that and everyone being stunned. Like, I love how this show really focuses on these details where, like, we have to sit on it and be like, and then see the characters' reactions to it and be like, you know, you can feel like how long they've known each other and this never happens, you know, so mm -hmm. it's just all new territory and, you know. You yeah, that's really like a big X-Men rule is like, you don't kill people. Uh, mm -hmm. You don't, you, cer you certainly don't just straight up murder them. Like if it was in a fight, I think like the X-Men would understand. Yeah. It's not like Batman where it's like, oh, you've killed someone, be gone now from <laughs> everything. You know, I think they would understand that casualties in a fight could happen. Mm -hmm. But, like, she just straight up murdered him. Yeah. <laughs> she just dropped him off of a building, which is way different. <laughs> it's so, yeah, it was it was quite shocking to see that. Yeah. And, um, again, going to Captain America, I was very surprised and happy to see him. Um, mm -hmm. And 
now thinking about it, like at first I was like, oh, I want him and Rogue to go on an adventure, like a side adventure in this episode. And, you know, she can like vent to him or something and feel better. Or I don't know if that would work. But I am glad he wasn't a main focus at all. He was just a cameo and yep. then he was gone. Like we're focused on our X-Men characters. And um, even though it's exciting, it's very, very exciting to see the MCU characters coming in. But um, it's not about them right now. You know, we have... I love focusing on a tight, small group, you yes. know, where we're not expanding, 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 because mm -hmm. we can do that, and why not? Because then you, like, lose the bonding, you lose, like, you know, investing in certain... Keep it small and simple, yeah. <laughs> you know, because sometimes you just expand ex and expand that you don't and get attached, emotionally I attached I almost feel like you, you needed a cameo like that in this episode, because... One would ask in a world of superheroes, if they exist where were in this you? universe? Yeah, where were where, you? Where, where are the superheroes? I, yes, you know, there's just been a genocide. Were you? Why weren't you there? Why aren't you helping? Blah, blah. Like so, to have that moment with him and like have a conversation that you know he's looking at things here, but he's got limited resources or whatever because mm -hmm. you know he's got the big A on his forehead. I know. <laughs> it, it means something. And so for him to go to Mexico, him to go to another country and do stuff, it comes with the connotation of America is doing something, which mm -hmm. is a whole political thing. So yeah, I, I yeah. think it was good to have the conversation. I agree. MCU Steve Rogers would never though. He would, <laughs> MCU he was Steve different. Rogers would have been there in a minute. <laughs> mm -hmm. Cyclops um, we saw his son and you know he and he's such a leader too because he just found out that that was his son and then he moved on from there really fast because like you know it was mm -hmm. a serious moment and it made me sad that you know looking at Jean and saying you're not her that was a really like powerful line yeah really powerful that was a powerful line, and I felt so bad. And Jean is so understanding, again, like you said, because she's a telepath, she, she's psychic, she just can read people's minds, that I'm, I'm glad she's an empath and she really cares about people, you know? She's just so understanding, you know, just absolutely mm -hmm. understanding. I'm just so impressed by that, and, you know, and, and in that case, like, it's so complicated, and, and I feel bad. You know, for Cyclops and every, you know, he he it's loves them both. It's a rough situation. It is, and rough. I know they were just having this whole big fight last episode, episode before. Yeah, <laughs> about uh, Cyclops and Madeline, you know, kissing in the know. mind space or what have you. Mm -hmm. Even though they were on a break, uh, on a break. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh God! Like it's a complicated situation. You know, they. I think they could had they had time. And there wasn't this whole Cyclops thing between them. Ben sisters, mm -hmm. you know? I mean, that's technically what they are. Identical twins are clones. <laughs> they, they share the same DNA. Uh, so, I mean, a, clone's a, even clone, more so. a clone is an identical twin, I should say. Other way around. Even identical more so. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, it's, it's the same situation. They're, they're siblings. You know, mm -hmm. they're still different people. Uh, in this case, though, it's like really weird, though, because they have all the same memories. Uh, it's not like they have different memories or experience things different. Up until a certain point, they were the same person. Yep. And then they shared the same husband slash boyfriend, depending on who married when. <laughs> Yeah, and, and, you know, Madeline truly believed that she was Jean, so yeah. it was an innocent thing, like, they were, and, and he was innocent, too, because he thought it was Jean, and yeah. it's just She had really, his son. I think this is so it's messy. It's messed up. Yeah, it is messy. It's just, but you understand it, like, <laughs> like, who else has that kind of situation? I don't know. So Madeline's actually dead. Yes, I think. That's... Or they didn't find her anyways. I mean... Someone was saying that she got, I was reading some of the comments uh, and they were listing people they were pretty sure were dead. And Madeline, they said they got disintegrated in that first blast, mm -hmm. which maybe that was such a hectic episode. And I haven't rewatched it because the feels, yeah. uh, they said, and they were quick people too. said Banshee for sure is gone. Uh, people said that uh, Moira is gone. Uh, who's Charles's ex? Who she uh, works on Muir Island studying mutants. Uh, okay. So like they were listing out different 
names and they included her. So, wow. Wow, very sad. But, you know, again, it makes it more real. It really makes it um, scary. You get more invested in the characters and you're worried for their lives. So, you know, so it's real. Gambit's gone. Um, and there's a lot of great people. Magneto's not. Magneto's alive. I, I, we kind of hoped he would be. Um, but I kind of questioned it for a little bit because I was like, uh, could they kill two main characters like that? Yes, they can. But no, so he's with some kind of crazy psycho that we don't know yet. So until next episode, guys, can't wait to find out who that is. Thank you so much for watching with us, and we'll see you soon. Bye, guys! Bye!